Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I got some new material to show you and uh, no more talk, let's go to the job. Okay, we start. We add some sulfuric acid to this chip. I split that in the two different batch because uh, the amount and uh, okay you already see a couple times how actually wet ashing works so I will not shut this whole process okay Houston, we have a problem. Okay, so this is the first time actually I'm doing this and uh, experiment is not successful. Why? Because just a couple of these little chip will dissolve in the hot sulfuric acid like a normal chip, but 90% not. Why? Because this is actually, I think, not, it's not the uh, same material like chip, it's a uh, ordinary plastic. And ordinary plastic don't dissolve in a sulfuric acid. So it's not just that. See here. Uh, fiber is dissolved, but this big one See, almost 90% is not dissolved. So I just think now what I can do. Some of them dissolve, but uh, very rare. It's okay. Uh, still, I got these. And I think I will try it burning because this stuff actually don't work with sulfuric acid, okay? So, okay, I will mix that together and I will burn that and try to get some gold from it, okay? Okay, guys, after unsuccessful, try to boil them that chip in sulfuric acid, I decided to burn that. Okay, we burn that and it's now leave only fiber and this little chip. Now it's very easy for crush. So I will crush that and uh, I process all this with the fiber in aqua regia. Actually, I don't know other way. We will see.
okay after the reaction is complete we add some urea dinox extra nitric when it's still hot Okay, we start filtration, see all that slug, and this stuff on the bottom is actually crystallized urea, but no problem, we add some fresh water and uh, desolated water and the urea will be dissolved. Okay guys, we add some water, it will easily dissolve all this urea because I add too much urea but never mind here we got SMB dissolved in water and now we're gonna drop some gold it's a lot of solution But this is because all that urea. And we got some color change. I actually don't know how, go how much gold I expect. Because this is a this is a chip with a fiber when we measure, but maybe maybe they got some good yield because it's the same type like BGA. Okay. Okay. It's time to see what we got from our gold, from our BGA. Okay, this is the jar from it. And we got some gold here. Okay, see that? We got some precipitation. And everything is settled down. Looks very clear solution. Okay. It's a lot of solution because I had too much urea. And this two jar is actually uh, from my uh, waste filter. I got three full jar of filter and I process this for gold and I got some dirty drop here and I got some <sighs> nice drop here okay So now we go to filter this and melt, see how much gold we got.